Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 8, lesson 6 Compare and order fractions. Page number is 517. Okay, guys, today we'll compare the fractions. To compare fractions, create equivalent fractions with the same denominators or the same numerators okay we cannot compare the fractions until unless we have the same denominators or we have the same numerators okay use the least common multiple it is also known as LCM LCM means least common multiple or the least multiple common to sets of multiples the first thing guys how to find the least common multiples for example if you have two numbers uh, let's say to make the denominator same here we have two fractions 1 over 4 and 3 over 8 okay we'll do the first example by making the denominator same and then the next fraction we'll do by making the numerator same okay now the first fraction is 1 over 4 in the first question 1 over 4 and 3 over 8 now how we make the denominator same by using the least common multiple see this guys the denominators are 4 and 8 so the least common multiple first we write the multiples of 4 all the multiples of 4 then we write all the multiples of 8 here 4, 8, 12, 16 and here 8, 16, 24 and like that and then we circle the common ones the common ones are 8, 16 and as we are looking for the least common multiple the smallest one so the smallest one and the common one common means the one which is in both of them is 8 so we will change the denominators into 8 this one is already 8 how we make this one 8 we multiply this fraction by 2 if we multiply with the denominator we have to multiply the same number up in the numerator so we multiply this fraction by 2 1 over 4 times 2 times 2 equals 2 over 8 and this is already 3 over 8 so we know that 2 is less than 3 3 over 8 is greater than 2 over 8 or you can say 2 over 8 is less than 3 over 8 so whirling beetle is longer because this fraction is longer now if we make the numerator same See this guys again now we have three fractions and we want to make the numerator same to which number we will make the numerator same you will find the least common multiple of what of all the numerators what is the numerator if you want to make the denominator same then you will make the least common multiple of all the denominators it depends on you guys okay one five and two these are the numerators one five and two you will write the multiples of 1, then 5, and then 2. And then choose the least and the common one. Common means the one which is in all of them. Like 1 is here, but not here and not here. So we cannot choose it. Similarly, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is here, but not here. So we cannot choose that. Okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yes, 10 is here, 10 is here, and 10 is here. So 10 is the least one and the common one. So we will convert all the denominators, sorry, to the 10. How? How to convert this numerator into 10? We multiply by 10. Similarly, we'll multiply by the denominator also. How to convert this one into 10? Multiply by 2. And how to convert this one into 10? Multiply by 5. So we get three new fractions after multiplication 10 over 40, 10 over 12, 
and 10 over 15. Now guys, as you know that the denominator shows us the total number of parts. Okay, and how, how many parts we have out of the total number of parts. So in that case, when you are checking by the numerators, the greatest one is the smallest one. When the numerators are the same, the fraction with the greatest denominator is the least fraction. So which fraction is with the greatest denominator? 40. So this is the least one. After that, 15 and then 12. Don't forget this line, boys. Okay. When you are checking, when you make the numerator same, but when you make the denominator same, like the last question, then you check normally. The greatest one is the greatest one. But when you are checking through the numerators, you make the numerator same. In that case, the greatest denominator is the least fraction. Got it? Okay. Now, look at this one. 3 over 4 and 1 over 2. So... We know that if we multiply this fraction by 2, we will get the same denominators. So it will be 1 times 2, 2, and 2 times 2, 4. So 3 over 4 is greater than 2 over 4. If you see this fraction, the numerators are already same. So we don't need to do anything. We just, we will see that which one is smaller this time because we are checking through the numerators in opposite way. When the numerators are same, this line guys here, the fraction with the greatest denominator is the least one. So 6 is the greatest, so it is the least one. So 3 over 4 is the greatest one. Okay. There is another easy way, guys, to solve the fractions. That is known as butterfly rule. How we solve that? See this, boys. Very easy. How to compare? Multiply these two. 1 times 6 equals to, equals to 6. Write it up here. And multiply these two. 2 times 3 equals to 6. So 6 is equal to 6. Similarly here, multiply these two and write it up here. 5 times 5, 25. And multiply these two, 3 times 6, 18. So 25 is greater. So 5 over 6 is greater. This is an easy way, guys, to solve when you, you are comparing just two fractions, okay? You can do the other way also. Either you make the denominator same or the numerator same and then compare. Got it? Or you can use this way also. Now, when you have three fractions, then for sure you have to find the LCM. Like in this one, you can only divide this fraction by two and get the answer and compare. But, for example, in this case, either you have to compare by the numerators or by the denominators. First, you have to find the LCM of the three, okay, and then compare it. Got it, guys? You have to do all these questions by yourself and match the answers through the videos. Okay. So from these three, which one is the most of? So which one is the greatest one? So of course, ham. You will make the denominator same or if you want to make the numerator same. Okay. And by making the LCM, least common multiple, and then find it. 